So we're at an airport. How'd we get here? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Florida? There's a show in Pomona, California this weekend. Oh, we can go do that. All right, let's go. What else are we going to do in California? Uh, we should probably film more than one video because we're going to be true. gone then for a few days. So let's just, can we relate it to reptiles? Anything can be about reptiles. Can we do a herping video? I think everything's too cold out there. Maybe we could film a zoo tour? Maybe. Usually they don't let you film though. Oh, I know. We could pretend to be YouTubers and do like a vlog. I mean, that'll work. All right, we made it to LA. Oh no, this is good. We had a really crappy uh, first California trip and this is starting out so hot. Yeah, we're hoping this trip to California will redeem the whole state. And so far, our car rental just got canceled on us. So, well, it's still there. We just had to wait four or five hours to get it. Yeah, for some reason, there's a four to five hour wait to get our car. So we canceled that one and we, oh, there's a cop there. So we canceled that one and booked a new car at a different rental place that's like a mile away. Half mile. Is it just half mile? Yeah, it's right over there. Okay. It. You can oh, see I it see it. Distance. Okay. So we're just walking down LA. At yeah, some random street at midnight. It's at midnight right now. And here's two obviously tourists with a suitcase. I, I am a LA a native. Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't have ear pods in our okay. ears. We obviously don't live here. So this is a good start. Oh my gosh, look at these! You use these for isopods! This is Oh, that's a magnolia tree. These are so cool. We're finding things in the wild. Look. Don't, don't lay too far behind. <laughs> oh yeah, this is still downtown LA at midnight. But look, we sell these in our store and I just found one on the ground. That's awesome. I'm bringing this with me. Look, we're in a car. Yeah, we got one finally. Yeah, we have a rental car. So that's done. There was a bit of a scare just now that because our flight was delayed and this whole rental car fiasco that it might be too late since it's now midnight 30 to check into our hotel. But I called, they said it was fine. So we're gonna go to the hotel and just start the day over tomorrow. Well, it's a new day and now we finally get to see California when the sun at, what the, what the heck is that thing? I think they call them mountains. Their buildings are so textured here. Ew, they're dirty. <laughs> Ew. Carl's Jr. Don't they mean Hardee's? <gasps> 7-Eleven? You know what that means. Yee! All right, well, I jokingly gave Emily my slushy so that we could film that last clip, but now she won't give me back my slushy. These are both really good. <laughs> is that what I... Oh, it is Magnolia. Oh my gosh, look at all those seed pods. Yes, okay, we hit the mother load here. Here, take the camera. All right. Oh my goodness, there's so many seed pods. And now that it's daytime, I can finally explain why I was so excited yeah. about these and last night. And not in night. the middle of LA. That's right. So these are amazing. They have so many uses for reptile keepers. They not only provide some sort of enrichment and some like new dimension that you can add to just a reptile's basic enclosure, it gives them something new to smell and explore and experience. But if you keep isopods and or springtails, these are a food source for them and they are a good shelter for springtails and isopods. They crawl all over these little bristles. They find every little nook and cranny and they love the shelter they provide and they are just fantastic. So we are taking all of these home. Here, do you want this? Oh um, sure, yes, that's, that's a good idea. I also don't know if we're gonna be able to get all of them. Oh, we are. Because there's so many of them. Uh, we're collecting them all. These, this is like a gold mine. Okay, I guess we'll be back then. So we got a bag full. Yep, we have enough, I think. I didn't take all of them though, because some were like half decaying and some were being used by bugs or insects and I didn't want to steal them from them. Yeah, so like that caterpillar. There's a caterpillar on one. Yeah, so we grabbed all the unused, undecayed ones. How much room do we have in our check-in bag? I think we only have, we only use like half of it on the way out. Perfect. So we're good. We can get some more. Okay, it's lunchtime. We're gonna try the first thing we've never tried before. In and out. Oh my gosh. Their menu's so little. Yeah, it's also really cheap. It is, yeah. I like it. Look at that. It's a lot of food for $14. Yeah, $14. We, at the airport yesterday, spent $30 on two burgers and one fry. Yeah. It's, I mean, granted it was an airport, but still, they're presented These so nicely. These look better. Too. Yeah, they look a lot better. Should we try it? Sure. All right. Okay, first fries. 
Oh wow, those might be better than McDonald's fries. Really? And I really like McDonald's fries. How about the burger? I feel bad eating it because it, it looks so pretty. Oh wait, which one was yours? Oh okay, yeah, yours didn't have the, the stuff on it. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. This is a 10. I don't want to start at a 10 right off the bat, but there's nothing I would change. It's delicious. I would give it a solid 10 overall. I mean, that's why the drive-thru is out, the, out to the road. That's right. Yeah, they are hopping today. That was good. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh my gosh. And I can't believe the price and how simple the menu is. Mm -hmm. I think I really like In-N-Out. All right, what would you rate it? One to 10? Give it a nine. Nine? Okay. I give it a ten for the experience though, because everybody here has been super friendly. Yeah, they are so nice. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give it a solid ten. So thank you, Jen and David from Bunch of Balls on Patreon for suggesting that we Bunch try of balls. Bunch of Balls. Yep, and Jen. So thank you for recommending we try In and Out. Okay, so an employee there learned it was our first time at In and Out and recommended that we try the shakes. So we got shakes. Ed got all three flavors: yep. Neapolitan, and I got chocolate and vanilla. Should we try them? Sure. That's a good shake. That's a really good shake. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? Yeah, that's really good. We're not eating very well on this trip no, so we're far. Not. Huh. Alberto's sounds fun. I wonder if their food's any good. Who cares? Okay, it's Sunday. Lunchtime. We are trying Jack in the Box for the very first time. What'd you get? Um, Some big sandwich? Yes. Okay. I got chicken nuggets because I'm an adult. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh, these are good chicken nuggets. They have a lot more like spices on them than McDonald's. That's a really good chicken nugget. Okay, nice. how was your burger? Not as good as In-N-Out. Pretty good still. Okay, nice. Jack in the box, I would rate. Well, they're chicken nuggets anyway. They have good fries. They have better fries than uh, oh. In-N-Out. Oh, how are their fries? Yeah, okay, so In-N-Out fries, the one I tried on camera was good, and then the rest all tasted stale. So not as good of fries as McDonald's. I retract my statement. But these... These ones might be. Oh. On par, at least. Oh. Yeah, these are these are just as good as McDonald's. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. So we were feeling bad about how much we ate today on vacation, so we found some cool exercise equipment. We're watching Emily do bench press. Come on. Uh. Six. Seven. Keep ah. that leg down. I see that leg. <laughs> Eight. Nine. <laughs> One more. Uh. Ten. Oh, my God. Oh. Gotta burn those calories off now. Should we do the, the over the shoulder pull? How's that one work? That? Maybe. I mean, you can do whatever you want. These oh, are kind of like. That's much easier. <laughs> I can do this kind of a workout. Today we are going to be visiting the Pomona Super Show, or the Reptile Super Show in Pomona, California. We're gonna make a whole separate video just about the show though. So maybe if you want, you could pause the video here, go watch that video, and then come back because we're not gonna film for this video today. That's separate. Here, we'll put a clip of the show right here. Wait. What are you doing on that side of the table? I don't know how I got back here, but I needed a closer look and then I, it, this just happened. See, that's all you're gonna get from this one. Yep, that's all you're gonna get. So you're gonna have to go watch that video and then come back here where we are going to continue our adventure. Well, we're at the end of the Pomona show, day one, and Ed decided to hang outside of the car before coming in a little bit. I'm pretty sure because he had to fart. And if he does that and then comes in straight away, the fart will follow him in here. So I really appreciate him hanging out there. And it looks like he was talking to a fan. Hopefully that fan was upwind. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Were you downwind at least from him? Otherwise I feel <laughs> so bad. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you were doing. I was stretching my legs. Uh-huh. After all the walking in the show. Yeah. Yeah. We know what you were doing. <laughs> you're welcome. I do appreciate you doing that outside. And now you're <laughs> blasting me online. I see how it is. <laughs> That's right. All right, the next thing we're going to try on this trip is, and that was highly recommended by a bunch of people on Patreon. Oh, that. that looks good. It's hot. Nice. Oh, my We've got uh, taco truck tacos yeah. and quesadilla. quesadilla. Nice. That looks really good. We've got mm -hmm. tacos in here. They're teeny tiny tacos. Like, look at how little they are. I don't know. Maybe all taco trucks have teeny tacos. But let's try them. So we went to Tacos El Cachetan. Yeah. I and we got cheek meat. That's right. So we have tacos and quesadilla. Oh, by the way, thank you, Philippa, for sending us a power bank for our phones so that we don't have to worry about them dying anymore. Yeah. That was really nice. I'm already using it, so thank you. Okay. Onion forward. Makes sense. 
really good seasoning on the cheek meat. On <laughs> the cheek meat? Yeah, I've never had cheek meat before. Don't quite know. I assume I know what it means. I'm assuming it's beef cheek. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, the onions really help elevate it too. Wow. Okay, I like it. All right, I guess I'll eat this quesadilla. Yep. Hopefully it's not the temperature of the sun, which it kind of feels like it is. <laughs> What do you oh, think? Oh, there's something spicy in there. Oh, no. Is there? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. It's good. It's good? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have to he be hesitant eating it. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> might be something I added in here. Maybe. Okay. All right. That one is untouched. Okay. It has a lot of cheese, which is good, too. Okay. This one, I'm going to give this, maybe, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's really good. I was expecting a little bit more flavor, but it was still good. I'm going to go with uh, seven and a half. Okay. Nice. All right. Taco trucks. Tasty. So, change of plans. The reptile show is there, but today, turns out, there is a bird show in there. So, we're gonna go to the bird show. So many birds. Yeah, this is a pretty good sized show. Oh Sounds my. Sounds so much like a bird show. Yeah, too. it does. Ooh, blue golds. Oh, and a milligold. What? Yeah, you don't see milligolds that often. Hi. <laughs> Fair was a success. Yeah. Got some toys, some foraging toys for Cheyenne. Yep. Saw a bunch of cool birds. A bunch of cool birds. A lot of big birds at, in, at California shows. The little birds too, the finches that I used to breed. Got, yeah. got a blast from the past with those. That was cool. Very expensive prices though on yeah. birds down here. That's oh my gosh. Nobody knows how to clip wings here. Yeah, yeah, they're all improper. I didn't see a single properly clipped bird, but. Saw half clipped, saw two clipped. Saw, saw all the feathers clipped yeah. on the wings. Like, like whoo. All right, people. Okay. <laughs> but it was still a fun show. Yes. We are at the LA Zoo. I was reading a sign about Reggie the alligator. Yeah. Um, we are at the LA Zoo and never been here before but of course we're gonna check out all the reptiles and see what they've got yeah apparently there's some bait with some little teeny alligators over here are they yeah look at that little guy right there oh he's so small actually that's like rex size yeah wow that's exactly rex size Aww, but he has a straight snout yeah Aww. and then there's one back over there cute so it's a nice enclosure for these little guys yeah i bet they love this yeah could you imagine if budgies were that big. I would be terrified if budgies were that big. I think they'd eat us. They would definitely eat us. Ocelots live in South America, so they are actually predated on by anacondas and boas in the wild. So they're boa food. Yeah, ocelots are actually boa and anaconda food. <gasps> I want these handles. That would be sweet. Can we get those on our house? Gosh, can we? They, they have gharials here. They do! Look at him! Oh my gosh! I just want to hug him. And that one's got his mouth open. He's so cute! He's trying to catch a bird. <laughs> oh, crikey! There's an alligator! What a beaut! Alright, dinner time. We are going to try Korean barbecue for the first time, as recommended by Kate and Chaos Feather on Patreon, and I think a couple others on Patreon as well. Yeah, so we're going to You Grill Korean barbecue. Oh my 
I ate way too much. Yeah. It was so worth it though. It was delicious. Why? We both have the meat sweats though. <laughs> we do. Why have we not tried Korean barbecue before I don't know. this? It's like there's certain things that we have to go back to Minnesota and be like, can we get this around here? Which I'm sure we can that. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Okay, if I had to rate it 1 to 10, I mean, everything was amazing between the taste to the experience, the overall like environment and experience, I'd give it an 11. Yeah, I mean, this was gonna be out of 10, easy 10. Oh my so, gosh, that was good. Like, all right, that's... Korean barbecue. I don't know how we're gonna beat this. That's, I think, my favorite new food now. Well, we're going home today, and I don't know how we're gonna fit everything in this suitcase, because we still need the magnolia seed pods to fit in here, and I only have that much room for it. I mean, that still does expand up. We got this little, like... Oh, the zipper? That oh, that's right. To flip up. Oh, we can shelter Pusik this thing. Perfect. What? You know, like the shelter pusic, the legless lizard. They have that groove down the side of their body that expands oh, okay. when they eat too much. We're gonna shelter pusic this suitcase and then it'll work. All right, it's day four. We have to go home today. Uh, it got rainy. It did, but I'll take this over zero degrees at home. This yes. is lovely weather. Yeah, we can walk around and wear yeah. decent clothes, not much, cover up completely. Much better, so. You still have this sticker on you, by the way. Do. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing contributions. And for everybody watching, you guys helped fund this trip so that we could share our experience in LA with you. Hope you enjoyed it. We haven't yet made it a convincing reptile video. Yeah, though. we've done two things reptile related. Two. Yeah, that's it. So this might not be a reptile video, but that's well, okay. Can we make that plant into a reptile related thing? Um, I mean, I think that's agave. Oh, you can make tequila out of agave. Oh, and you use tequila to get reptile or to get snakes to stop biting you. Oh, well, there we, there go. we go. Full circle. Perfect. Reptile Re video done.